On today's installment of Big Al's Garage, let's talk tires. How y'all doing? I'm Big Al, welcome to the garage, and today I have an important topic for you. Tires. We have them on our cars, and we tend to just stick them on there and forget about them until it's time to replace them. Now on our daily drivers, I'm sure we tend to drive on them until they wear out, which is usually about every two years for my cars. But what about the cars we don't use every day? Our classic cars, or maybe exotics? All but a select hardy few of us. Pretty much our classic cars are just weekend warriors. We take them out for occasional pleasure drives, drive them to and from car shows, and as such, a tire can potentially last far longer than it would on our daily drivers. And that is where the danger can come in. NHTSA recommends a tire be replaced after six years, regardless of how much tread it has left on it. And here's why. Over time, rubber can degrade. It gets hard, which causes the tire to lose its grip on the road. That is a recipe for disaster in and of itself. Rubber can dry rot. When I first bought the Corvair, it had some radial tires on it. They had plenty of tread on them, but unfortunately the sidewalls were all cracked and coming apart. That's an accident waiting to happen. That tire can easily fail and then send you into a world of hurt. So I went and bought these new Cooper radial tires. Now, I'm not going to get into the whole bias ply versus radial thing. I mean, you put whatever tires on your car you want. But at the end of the day, rubber degrades over time. And that's something you want to think about next time you get in your car. When was the last time I put tires on this thing? You know, am I really... Is this car safe enough for me to let my nephew or my son drive it to prom? You've got to have good tires. You've got to make sure that they are relatively new. Or you could be setting yourself up for a nasty accident. Now, of course, we can measure tread wear by the bands that are in the tread of the tire here. But an old tire, even if it's got plenty of tread left on it, could still be unsafe to use. You want to check the date code that's on the sidewall. And you want to check the sidewall and the tread area for cracks. That means it's starting to dry rot, and it's time for it to come off. I know that may not always be the easiest thing, if, especially for those of us who drive exotics, whose tires only get made in limited production runs. Some things that affect tire wear are obviously heat. I live in a very hot climate, and tires can degrade fairly quickly. Exposure to oxygen, ozone, sunlight, all those things affect tire wear. So not to belabor the point, make sure you keep relatively new tires on your vehicle, check your date codes, make sure your tires are safe to use. You don't want to have a good day of driving end in disaster. It's not worth trying to save a couple hundred bucks just to end up in a crash. I mean, yes, my tires were a couple hundred bucks, but they can run into the thousands for some of us. I understand that's a bit of a hard pill to swallow when the tire looks perfectly good, but just like I've said, because it has plenty of tread, doesn't mean it's perfectly good. It might be unsafe. Anyway, so that is it for today's installment. At the 27th, we will hopefully be back to work on the Corvair and hopefully have it back on the road soon and we can have some fun driving videos. Until then, Please like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next installment.